behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to welcome each of you to our 59th annual commencement exercise. We are pleased that you are here tonight to share with us our final hours as students of West Stepford High School. To begin tonight's program, please rise and honor the USA with the playing of the national anthem. Welcome everyone to the class of 2023's commencement ceremony. I'm humbled and honored to represent the decorated class of 2023, a class that I've had the pleasure of sharing an unforgettable childhood with. Today marks a noteworthy transition in our lives. As the high school door finally closes, another newer door will open in its place. Whether you plan to continue your education, join the workforce or armed services, or simply still trying to determine your path, we are now all on equal ground. How you choose to begin this journey is up to you but your success will come from how you define it. I mean, what is success anyway? Is it the accumulation of wealth? Or how about the number of friends and family you have, is that it? Or still, one must ask, one may have a number of friends and family, but what is the extent of the quality of those relationships that they have? The point is simple. Success is contextually defined and subjective to the individual. For example, who would Albert Einstein be in a room full of NFL Hall of Famers? I'll tell you, a complete nerd. What would Drake have to contribute at an executive meeting at Apple? Quite frankly, nothing. Within their own realms of endeavor, Albert and Drake are critically lauded as top tier contributors to their respective fields. But in the context of another pursuit, such as professional sports or modern technological advancements, they are not recognized for their individual gifts. How you define your success is your own prerogative, and I challenge you to determine exactly what it is that you want. Take aim, even badly, and you'll have a direction to move. Once you've determined your path, all that's left is to keep moving forward, amidst the seemingly unscalable obstacles and roadblocks that you will surely encounter as you embark on your personal path of fulfillment. Feelings of doubt and anxiety will begin to populate, and thank goodness for that. It is in these moments of great suffering and struggle that the most significant progressions of character development take place. The legendary Col de Bois summarizes this idea perfectly by claiming, pressure builds diamonds. With each new day, we all have another opportunity to extend our limits beyond what we ever considered possible. Put simply, we get to prove to ourselves that we can. One famous story that comes to mind is about a father and his son playing Connect Four one night. After 10 games of defeating his son with ease, the father says, okay, son, I'm tired of beating you. I'm ready to go to sleep now. The father says, or the son says, dad, we can't go to bed yet. And the father asks why. And the son replies, it's not over until I win. That was the attitude that he had. So they sat down and played several other games, and after the 11th game, the son finally won and said to his father, all right, Dad, I'm ready to go to sleep now. But what if we took that attitude? We face a rejection or a no, 
or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody says, you can count on me, and they don't come through? What if you failed your test, or you just lost your significant other, your face is in the dirt, and you've lost again and again and again? The lights are cut off, but you're still staring at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. You see, ladies and gentlemen, the only way you can ever truly lose is if you refuse to keep moving forward. The only way you can ever lose is if you stop. Now, before I close, there's a number of individuals here today who have significantly impacted my personal journey and whose contributions to myself and the community are simply inexpressible. These people have made my life meaningful and worth living every single day. And for that, I express the utmost gratitude and respect. The thought of returning to school day after day without Adam Humanick's beautiful eyes to greet me as I enter the physics room is truly unfathomable. He's still my arch nemesis nonetheless. I would like to thank Ms. Jacqueline Falcone for her unwavering support and encouragement, Mr. Timothy McAndrew for defining what it means to be a servant leader, my friends for adding meaning to my life, and each and every person that I've had the privilege of spending these last 18 years of my life with. Finally, some recognition for my family's in order. I haven't the slightest clue where I'd be today if it weren't for my father's tireless work ethic and moral character, or my mother's selflessness and delicious meals every single day. I like to think of myself as a culmination of my older brother's Evan's extreme honesty, Dustin's perfectly timed calls and advice, Ryan's constant reinsurance and support, and Aiden's blunt insults, as well as devilish good looks. It is these people that I am eternally dented for all that they have done for me. With all that being said, I'd like to leave you with one final suggestion this evening as you near the final moments of your high school careers. No matter what seemingly impregnable challenge or test you face, always keep moving forward. I wish everyone the best of luck in your future. Thank you for your time. Good evening to the members of the Board of Education, distinguished guests, fellow administrators, faculty, staff, parents, and most especially the members of the class of 2023. To the students, the class of 2023, please look around at one another and let this memory sink in as one that will remain with you as the end of a phase as well as the beginning of a new one. When I think back to my own high school graduation, I remember sitting in, the, in, in your seats, like you all now, and thinking, yeah, I understand what's coming next. I know what lays ahead for me. But as an adult standing before you now, I can honestly say that you never quite have it all figured out. Life is a series of phases that you just have to buckle down and put forth your absolute best in order to work through those. Sometimes these phases in life, you are met with challenges. Other times you will meet them with ease. In either case, I leave you with a few pieces of advice as you venture out and explore this for yourselves. One, never perseverate on what could have been, but instead embrace what is. Live in those moments accept what is in front of you, challenging or not, and decide how you are going to use that to inspire yourself to move forward. Life can be full of disappointments or sadness, but it is how you manage these and forge ahead regardless that will help to define you. Two, in the words of one of my favorite authors, Toni Morrison, taken from one of her books, Song of Solomon, if you want to fly, you have to give up that stuff that weighs you down. In short, do not ever allow your own self-doubt or that of others to hold you back. Do not take those minor setbacks as a reason to give up on your goals, but instead, let it go, shake it off, and keep on forging ahead. You are West Effort Eagles today and forever. So get out there and fly. Congratulations. I am proud to say that our students continue to push through and achieve at their highest potential, whether that be in their academics, civic duties, 
involvement in activities, or athletics. Today, kids have to overcome so much more, it seems, than we did all in our own youth. They are combated with so many more obstacles via technology, social media, that it's sometimes difficult to stay on track mentally, physically, or emotionally. We, the administration and faculty of West Effort High School, recognize this and are so proud of them for their accomplishments. At this time, I would like to recognize some of those accomplishments and some of those graduates for their outstanding sacrifice and achievements. First, I am extremely proud to announce that we have several students who are entering the United States Armed Forces after graduation. I would like to recognize those students now. When your name is called, please stand and be recognized. Caden Beal, U.S. Army. Braden Finger, U.S. Air Force. Austin Cates, U.S. Coast Guard. Ronaldo Jarrett, U.S. Marine Corps. Charles Moser, U.S. Marine Corps. I would also like to take this moment to recognize all of our veterans in the audience. Please stand. We thank you for your service. Thank you. You may be seated. It now gives me great honor to present two seniors with two very special awards this evening. Two of our graduating seniors will be receiving this next award in the amount of $10,000. This award is very special given in the memory of Robert A. Staub. Robert Staub and a few of his classmates died an untimely death many years ago on Red Bank Avenue in the early 1980s. The family felt indebted to the school, the teachers, the students, the parents, and this community of West Effort for all of their unconditional support during that very hard time. The Staub family donated to our annual awards every year for several years, giving two $500 scholarships each year. In 2013, however, West Deptford High School was notified that the last living heir to that scholarship fund account had unfortunately passed away. With her passing, a trust fund and their entire estate were bequeathed to West Deptford High School. With this trust fund and by the following terms of their will, we will award $2,000 scholarships each year to a female and male graduating student who fit the following criteria. This criteria was stipulated by the Staub family and also in their will. To a student, first and foremost, who displays scholarship, thoughtfulness, kindness, and helpfulness to others. Secondly, to a female and male student in the top third of his or her class, and who is a member of the National Honor Society. Lastly, the students must participate as an interscholastic athlete, asking the committee to give consideration to any male candidate who also participated in football. This year's Robert A. Staub male recipient is Brady Clark. And this year's female recipient is Miss Kelly Levengood.
Along with these two seniors, approximately 84 of their classmates were offered over $94,000 in local community scholarships and awards this year. These students were all recognized on Wednesday evening, and these scholarships were all made possible by the generosity of the various organizations and individuals listed in the commencement ceremony booklet. At this time, I would like all of those students who received an award on Wednesday evening to stand and be recognized again. Congratulations. And now, it gives me great pleasure to present the annual West Stafford High School Golden Eagle Award. This award has been presented as part of West Stafford High School's commitment to excellence for many years. Traditionally, the entire West Stafford High School faculty and staff vote on this award, given to who we feel is the best all-around student in the graduating class. The criteria includes outstanding performance in academics and co-curricular activities, citizenship, loyalty to the school, and respect for fellow students and teachers. This is an extremely talented class, as you just witnessed. With so many students contributing so much to the school and community, it's always very difficult to make this decision. But the staff voted this year and the Golden Eagle Trophy, also accompanied by a $500 check, goes to Gavin Zuzalak. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce our valedictorian of the class of 2023, Ryan Iannotti. Good evening to all of our guests and my fellow members of the class of 2023. It is my honor to be speaking with all of you tonight. For a really long time, I thought about what I was gonna say here. And honestly, I had no idea what to talk about. It felt like so many people expected me to say something profound, something unlike any ordinary graduation speech. So I thought about the things that I believe, what I've grown to know, and what I've learned to accept. I thought maybe I'd argue that our consciousness isn't a burden because ignorance isn't always bliss. How the times when we're better off not knowing don't even begin to compare to the virtues of all that thought and knowledge bestow. Or maybe I considered, I discussed the true compositions of intelligence and how the tragedy of subjectivity is the reason for why we equate how smart we are to whether or not we can take the derivative of a trigonometric function. Then I thought I would talk about how I don't wanna die having only lived for others and how I've come to realize that living the short time we have doing so would be an even greater shame than enduring the judgment of others. But ultimately, I found myself frustrated with how I couldn't decide on what to talk about. Because I thought that whatever I chose wouldn't be good enough. I felt like I had to pick the perfect subject in order for it to be considered of any value. My struggle to think of some revolutionary idea to convey, and even the fact that I felt obligated to give the perfect speech, reminded me of an English assignment I was given earlier this year. We were told to pick a poem that we thought described our high school experience. And that's when I just turned to Albert Camus, a French philosopher and author. In the poem I chose, he wrote, go out for a walk. It doesn't have to be a romantic walk in the park, spring at its most spectacular moment, flowers and smells and outstanding poetical imagery smoothly transferring you into another world. It doesn't have to be a walk during which you'll have multiple life epiphanies and discover meanings no other brain ever imagined to encounter. Do not be afraid of spending quality time with yourself. 
find meaning or don't find meaning, but steal some time and give it freely or and exclusively to your own self. Opt for privacy and solitude. That doesn't make you antisocial or cause you to reject the world, but you need to breathe and you need to be. Here, his words reflected not only how I felt like everything I did needed to be perfect, but also something I grew very familiar with throughout high school, which was that after I spent time doing things I enjoyed, I would always have this feeling of dissatisfaction. Disappointment because I didn't feel that the virtue that came from my experience was worth the time I spent doing it. Nor did I think the experience itself lived up to how I thought it ought to have been. I couldn't figure out why I felt this way, why doing what I liked wasn't enough to make me fulfilled, and why everything seemed to fall short of how I wanted it to be. It felt like anything I did, even when it was something I enjoyed, was inevitably going to feel like a waste of time, leaving me perpetually unsatisfied. My conflict was best explained by Camo's poem, which touched on an important human truth. We expect perfection, goodness, and novelty from our every experience, despite our existence as imperfect, ordinary beings. And when something doesn't live up to our expectations of how it should have felt or should have been, we regret having spent our time in the way we did. The poem not only made me feel understood by so precisely targeting this complex yet prevalent experience of emotions, but it also helped me realize that I needed to learn to be, to simply exist and nothing else. By being comfortable just being, we can lessen the pressure we put on ourselves to always have special enlightening experiences and thereby increase our happiness and appreciation for life. Doing so, that is, learning to be satisfied with mere existence. Help me see the beauty in our brevity, that we're beautiful because we're imperfect, fleeting, mortal. Camo affirmed that what I felt was normal and seemingly universal. It taught me how to understand that time spent doing nothing isn't necessarily time wasted. It showed me that to become comfortable with my existence is to not expect perfection and that to not expect perfection is to eliminate feelings of dissatisfaction. Walks don't have to be romantic. We don't have to make extraordinary philosophical realizations for our thought to be worth speaking. And I don't have to give a monumental speech that communicates something that's never before been said in order to appreciate our existence and our experience as what they truly are. Imperfectly beautiful, ordinary, therefore righteous. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, it is my great honor and privilege to stand before you today as the past principal for the past three years and now the current acting superintendent and to be able to address you on this momentous occasion. First and foremost, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Today marks a significant milestone in your lives, one that symbolizes years of hard work, perseverance, and dedication. As you sit here, I cannot help feel a sense of pride and admiration for the exceptional individuals you have become. The journey that has brought you to this point has not been an easy one. You have faced numerous challenges, overcome countless obstacles, and embraced a multitude of opportunities. Along the way, you have grown not only academically, but also emotionally, socially, and personally. Today, we celebrate not only your academic achievements, but also the remarkable young men and women you have become. As you venture forward with, from the familiar halls of this institution into a world brimming with both opportunities and challenges, I implore you to carry with you the lessons that you've learned here. Embrace curiosity, cultivate empathy, and continue fostering resilience, for it will empower you to rise above adversity and perseverance in the face of any setback you may see in your lives. Class of 2023, you are a generation that possesses incredible potential. In a world that is evolving at an unusual pace, you have the power to shape the future, to innovate, and to drive positive change. You are the trailblazers, the thinkers, the dreamers, and the doers of tomorrow. Remember, success is not only measured by accolades you achieve or the wealth that you amass, 
True success lives that touch your hearts, that you inspire, and the difference you make in the world around you. So as you embark on the next chapter of your lives, do so with knowledge that you are equipped to leave a positive mark on society. In closing, I celebrate you and the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. As you step into this world, be courageous, be compassionate, and above all, be yourselves. Congratulations, and may your futures be filled with endless joy, fulfillment, and continued success. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to welcome Dr. Rashudi, President of the West Effort Board of Education, to the stage. <laughs> Dr. Rashudi, it is with great pleasure that I present you the graduating class of 2023 for the awarding of diplomas. On behalf, of the, uh, on behalf of the Board of Education of West Deptford Township, I accept the graduating class of 2023. Good evening, all. Welcome and big congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. I'd like to also welcome family, friends, teachers, staff, and administrators, and fellow Board of, Board of Education members. While this amazing class sitting before you is ready to move on, to move towards the building of their lives and future, we cannot forget the help they had in making it to this point. I have three children currently attending the middle school, and believe me when I say it, it's a tough and well-traveled road to get to where you all are today. So parents and guardians, big shout out to all of you. I know what it takes to get here. This day is just as much about you as it is about them. To the 2023 graduating class, your efforts have not gone unnoticed, and I, just, I sincerely hope that you're not only leaving West Effort with a well-earned shiny new diploma, but also with memories of school events, such as spirit days, powder puff football games, winning band competitions, athletics, senior trip, prom, and so many other things. You may not realize it yet, but those memories are just the beginning. Whether you're off to college, work-study programs, trade schools, military, or traveling abroad, you will always be adding memories to your collection. Think about that for a minute or two. A lifetime of memories will have far greater worth than any possessions you collect along the way. I hope that you will consider the collection of memories rather than possessions as you begin the next chapter in your lives. A bit of advice that has served me well. Follow your dreams, put in the hard work, Always be open to change, be true to yourself, and when you have more, give back. Congratulations, good luck guys. <laughs> By virtue of the power vested in me as the president of the West Deptford Township Board of Education and by the New Jersey State Department of Education, I hereby award these diplomas. Family and friends, please hold your applause until all diplomas have been awarded to maintain the dignity of the ceremony. Please refrain from calling out, whistling, or using any noisemakers that would interfere with every graduate's name being heard. Paige Dutchkowski. Caitlin Alice Craig. Ryan Emily Ainati, Gavin Charles Zuzalak, Youssef Mohammed Abul Azat, <laughs> April Rose 
of Alea, Brady Christian Clark, Sinai Zane Ford, J.C. Ashlyn Gizmundi, Jake Dominic Hartman, Emma Alice Harvison, Aiden Michael Hallenstein, Adam Sergey Humanek, Kelly Claire Levengood, Ella Rose Messino, Josephine Elizabeth Moser, Gabriella Marie Perry, Gazelle Amor Quizara, Aislinn Sarah Roberts, Naya Naomi Tillman, Corey Neil Baglavo, Sophia Rose Cotnoe Belden, <laughs> sorry, um, Andrew Joseph Bergen, Melissa Ashley Belchard, Olivia Jane Brassberger, Joseph Fiorentino IV, Abigail Kathleen Gill, Emily Nicole Gallagher, Kaylee Maxine Gill, Kelly Marie Hartman, Luke Frederick Laxton, Benjamin Paul Marafa, Madison Page Zara, Tyler Madison McAleer, Paige Madison McCollum, Colwyn Andrew Moser, I think I skipped one, right? Natalie Lauren McGibbon, Michael and Fineo Monte Carlo, Joshua David Owen, Marissa Grace Prasini, Ariana Sky Rosalie, Michaela Rose Scarado, Dominic James Standish, Malia Ann Lenata, Malia Lynn Acevedo, Eric Michael Araya, Zachary Ryan Acero, Jacob Jane Beal, Kaylee McKenzie Belts, Briella Marie Bengal, Caden Beal, William Peter Billado, Braden Keith Black, John Robert Brady, Cameron Flynn Briggs, Gracie May Brolin, Kaliana Michelle Brown, Noah Michael Brown, Michael Richard Bunker, Veronica Christine Keynes, Jessica Janae Cofagno. Laura Wilson. Ryan Elizabeth Grace Carr. Ryan Alyssa Cervantes. Shitapan Shangnao. Julia B. Chufo, Daniel Joseph Clark, Matthew Michael Cohen, Madison Lynn Collins, Victoria Noel Conley, Jeremiah Marque Cromer. Natalie Ann Perry, Thomas Diatabi, K. 
Carolyn Elizabeth Daisy. David Davis. Nashan Amir Davis. Isabella M. DeCesar. Dominic James Denisi. Jordan David DeMunch. Jason Robert DeMatessa. Douglas James Doherty Jr. Maggie May Doherty. Kylie Nicole Dorset. Jordan Lee Dreger. Cole Benjamin Dubois. Cooper Ward Eastlack. Robert Austin Ebal. Andre English. Rhea Joyce Federico. David Fernandez. Anthony J. Firiola. Antoinette Marie Fife. Braden Francis Finger. Zachary Christopher Fisher Keller. Patrick James Flynn. Luke Patrick Gallagher. Joseph Anthony Gargan. Julian James Geibel. Dominic James Gentile. Gregory M. Gligger Jr. Julia Gladdy Goldberg. Julissa Marilee Gomez Lamus. David L. Granville. Brianna Lynn Green. Olivia Rachel Groves. Christopher Robert Hansen. Ryan Thomas Heenan. Mia Isabella Heimroll. Aubrey Anna Hingley. Gregory Brooks Honeycutt III. Gabrielle Hope. Lawrence Howard V. Joelle Richard Rodriguez Husser. Luke Patrick Humes. Ronaldo Carlos Jarrett. Liba Javid. Caden David Johnson. Austin Cates. Derek Kearney Jr. Jaden Kelly. Sean Patrick Kennedy. Abraham Khan. Jaden Knight. Jacob Dylan Coger. Jonathan LaBoy. Madeline Olivia Malcolm. Daniel Paul Marafa. Ashley Marie Maddie. Haley Nicole McClintock. Ethan Thomas McGonaghy. Brody Edward McCormick. Shay Patrick McKenna. Ava Elizabeth Mikulski. Mateo Alexander Magrino. Skyler Claire Moran. Charles Jacob Moser. 
Tyrone Odin. George Ben Oler. Davion James Smith Orr. Ryan Anthony Palvarento. Ava Christina Pabritsky. Andrew Dean Pennington. Tyler Ryan Parker. Jeremy Taylor Pennington. Jackson Sean Phillips. Samantha Rose Phillips. Halibrahim Poole. Andrew Nicholas Reifenrath. Nathan James Real. Albert Lewis Rivera. Jordan Elmer Roan. Anthony Major Robinson. Jalen Lamont Robinson. Michael J. Rylicki Jr. Cade Randall Sabo. Nick Marciano Salome. Andre Eduardo Sanchez. Jesse Scarborough. Alicia Marie Shivo. Matthias Gray Shriver McGivern. Emily Marie Scott. Isabella Siong. Juliana Teresa Smith. Marcus Cleavon Smith. Logan Steven Sobieski. Joey Rafael Socorro Ramirez. Brooke Michelle Sorbello. Trey Joseph Spradley. Zachary Walter Stewart. Alexander Ryan Switansky. Zoe Taylor Tabilio. Abigail Jazan Devera Thompson. Nicholas Anthony Titano. Jonathan H. Trexler. Natalie Marie Tropea. Victoria Norlane Trotter. Ramir Javon Vaughn. Patrick Joseph Virick III. Bryce McKenna Warren. Caitlin Molly Weaver. Madison Nicole Whip. Haley Nicole Wyman. Lexi Elizabeth Yeager. Jenica Catherine Zanes. Shane Matthew Zazzarini. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2023.
I congratulate you. Please join me now for the traditional turning of the tassel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and join me in the singing of the West Stafford High School alma mater. to welcome Mrs. Clark to the podium to present her with a senior class gift. Mrs. Clark, on the behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to present you with a monetary donation towards a gift to be determined at a later date. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and future students at West Stepford High School, thank you to the class of 2023. On behalf of the Board of Education, Administration, teachers, and staff, we officially congratulate our graduates and their families for a wonderful evening and ceremony. We wish you the best of luck in all that you do in your future. It takes a lot of people and effort to make tonight possible, and we would not have been able to do this without the assistance of many. Special thank you to the individuals on the graduation committee, my other colleagues on the West Stafford administration, Ms. Fairchild, Mr. Morell, Mr. Camerata, Mr. Roomaker for his work on the backdrop, and most importantly, Mr. Kirshner, For his creativeness, his editing skills, production of tonight's event live. The ceremony is now officially over. Thank you and have a good evening. Yes, out.